So this video has been a long time coming and I am so excited to share it with you. This is my Disney World trip 50th anniversary souvenir haul. And I want to talk to you about just all of the best things that we picked up and I'm going to go through some receipts with you so you know actually what to expect and what you're going to be paying for at Disney World. And there will be chapter bookmarks in the video so if certain things don't interest you, feel free to skip past them or to them to see what helps you. So, okay, let's just go into this. <laughs> <laughs> so we went on a Disney trip earlier this year um, for their 50th anniversary and I have a playlist I'll link above in case you missed that and we got all of the things and I can't wait to share with you as well some of the free souvenirs you can pick up for your family or your children there are some <laughs> amazing free experiences as well and I'll talk about those at the end um, let's just start with this one so, oh, okay, this is kind of an obvious one for me. I collect the Starbucks cups from all the different places and I enjoy that. So, in years past, at each park in Disney World, they have different Starbucks cups. And they usually look like this. However, not this year. Um, this is actually some Starbucks cups I got at Disney. This is the Orlando cup. And this one is the Florida Cup, the Sunshine State. And then at each park in Disney World, they actually have this style of cup. So this is the Epcot Cup with Figment. And if you know about Figment, he is the hot commodity this year. So you want all the Figment things. And this is the Hollywood Studios Cup. Okay, so I messed up a little bit with these. I never got the Magic Kingdom Cup. I actually got two of the Hollywood Studios Cups by accident. And I don't know how I managed that. And then the other day, one of my little ones broke my green, it was green Animal Kingdom cup. So I might need to replace those because I went. So they're legitimate for me to have them. I feel like you have to go to the places to actually have them. So, <laughs> but that's the kind of cup. I'm actually enjoying these and using them all the time because I love these little lids. They just keep it sealed and I have this paranoia about like a fly getting in my coffee or something horrible like that. So <laughs> I actually really like that they have the lids. While I do prefer the classic style because that's what all my other mugs are, um, I like that this is something different. And I have gotten each Kingdom Cup in the classic style in previous trips. So this year for the 50th, that's what they have going. Okay, now let's start looking at the bags behind me. I've grabbed a couple to get started. For my children, we have this rule of thumb that everyone gets a stuffy when we go to Disney World and then everyone gets one other souvenir, whatever that is that they choose. We don't know we stick to that, but that's kind of the general rule we try to keep with. Now, my little boy is obsessed <laughs> with Tower of Terror. I've tried to put the receipts in each bag that go with it so I can tell you what the prices are. Not all of them have it, but a lot of them do. So, um, Tower of Terror, my little boy absolutely loves it. So he wanted the Tower of Terror little desk bell where you ring for the front desk. <laughs> and that was, so that was from the Tower of Terror gift shop and it was, yeah, $9.99. So he got that, it was $9.99. And while I'm talking about that, it's on the same receipt. Every time we go, he gets the new Tower of Terror hotel key. And there's always a different one. This is actually the one from my previous trip. I can't find the one from this trip. I know I've seen it. I think my little boys ran off with it. <laughs> it looks very similar to this, only it's a little bit more scrolly. So the key from the Tower Terror Hotel is $14.99. Oh my goodness, we're gonna stop right here. <laughs> I found the new Tower Terror Hotel key. I had just showed you an old one from a previous trip because I could not find this and it was at the bottom of my souvenir package. <laughs> so this is the new one they have out right now and it is um, so much fun if you have a person in your family who loves Tower of Terror as much as my little boy does. So he loves collecting these keys. So some fun souvenirs if you have a Tower of Terror fan like I do. So those. And I love this. Oh my goodness. Galaxy's Edge is one of our favorite places. It is so much fun. And if you're as big of a Star Wars fan as we are, you'll love now my daughter tells me they had a different one. I thought they only had one. So I actually got the um, 
well, it's like the to dark anthem. What am I trying to say <laughs> for like Darth Vader? It's a little music box inside. It says together we can bring order to the galaxy. So it's got all the dark side stuff on it and stormtroopers etched in. And then it, I don't want to get copyrighted <laughs> for playing too much for you, but it's really cool. So Star Wars and it was $24.99. It can be found in the Galaxy Edge shops. And like I said, apparently they had one that did the Star Wars theme song and I missed that. Hopefully they have it next time because I want the other one too. <laughs> but I liked this. This is mommy's souvenir. I just thought it was so much fun. And like I said, we love Disney World. I love Disney World. <laughs> if there was ever a Disney mom, I'm that modest one. Ooh, excited about this. Okay, popcorn bucket. This is the Star Wars popcorn bucket. And it's got the big brown strap. And I know some people are really big popcorn bucket collectors. I just like a few that kind of mark our trip for us. Opens up and the popcorn refills in it are $2.25 currently. So you buy, I think, it's, I don't have the receipt for this. I think it's $20 for the popcorn bucket. But then the refills are $2.25. You can get it throughout your whole trip, hang it around your neck. So much fun. I was not lucky enough to get the figment popcorn bucket. It is so so, and it's really popular. If you don't know that, if you're not a hard die Disney World fan, the figment bucket, which I would love, and I tried to get at, you know, the place, um, they were sold out. My entire trip, they were sold out. We tried so hard to get one, but if you got one, I'd love to know. Tell me below. <laughs> I would love to know who actually got the figment one, but I love the Star Wars one, and like I've shared, in my packing video linked above, I have the alien one, which I just think is one of the most adorable ones they've ever created. So there's that. And hey, now we're starting in on the stuffies. I always try to um, kind of, I go by the rule of thumb that every stuffy is going to cost about $30. So I budget about $30 kids, some are a little bit less, some are a little bit more, but that tends to be kind of the average. So this is my oldest daughter's stuffy that she picked up. She got Bolt, a little baby Bolt in the blanket, and he was $34.99 and $37.26 with tax. So they are more expensive at Disney World. You can plan ahead from Shop Disney and get them on sale and maybe just tuck them in your suitcase and put them in your stroller and when your kid's at Disney, just pop it out and go, look at the stuffy I got you and maybe you got your stuffy for under $10 because you were smart. <laughs> so that is something you could definitely do. I I'm so sentimental and I think it's so much fun for my children to go to the park and pick out the stuffy they want and have a memory attached to it. I know my Hannah, who is now eight, when we went before, Gosh, how old was she? I want to say she was five. She got a little Pua pig that was like this, and she still, it's her favorite stuffed animal in the world. She remembers when she got it. She remembers how she got it. She remembers the feelings of when she got it. Girls are special like that. <laughs> so it's something special. I still have my stuffies from when I was little from Disneyland and Disney World. So I know these things can be really special, and it's something I wanted to carry on with my children. So that was her little bolt stuffy for with tax 37.26 and my daughter this was so she got her stuffy souvenir and then she got her other special souvenir she was a little bit more expensive than the other children but 12 year old girls are <laughs> we're moving on to that tweenness and girls are just expensive aren't they so she wanted her very own lounge fly bag like mommy um, mommy loves lounge fly and she wanted the rose gold Minnie Mouse lounge fly bag and she was so excited to get it and she's still excited to own it. She takes such good care of it. So this was $100. It was special, but um, it was also special being able to buy it for her. We bought it on Main Street and um, that is something she'll have for a long time. I hope someday she's a mom holding that lounge fly bag going, I remember when my mom bought me that. <laughs> That's my goals. So there's that. I'm trying not to mess up my receipts. I have all organized for you. And I also don't want to talk for two hours about Disney souvenirs to scare you, because I could. So <laughs> we'll just keep plugging along here. Okay, Pirates of the Caribbean, one of our favorite rides. 
classic Jack Sparrow. You know he's popular right now. <laughs> we got his sword. Whenever you come off the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, there is a little souvenir shop and for $9.99 in $10.64 with tax, you too can be the proud owner of a Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean sword. <laughs> this was my little boy souvenir. Um, just such a little boy souvenir. You can attach it to your belt. It's pretty good. And you know what? It's actually one of the more well-priced souvenirs from Disney. And it's so fun to come off the pirate ride and just get something like that. On our last Disney trip, my son got the um, big, they're like rubber, they're like this really thick rubber handcuffs, like pirate handcuffs, and we still have them, and the children still love them and play with them. Um, they're very sturdy, so that's something they actually still currently have um, that we got on our last trip, and that's a really good buy too, and they're not expensive. Um, I want to say they're less than $10, but they're definitely, like I said, they're sturdy, they're this big thick rubber, so they'll last for a long time. That's a good buy as well. So that, and here is my Hannah's stuffy from this trip, and it would be the same price as Bolt, so, because it's another one of the little Disney babies, it's $34.99, it is Baby Dumbo from Disney, and she just absolutely loves that. That was her special little stuffy on this trip, so cute. Um, my girls take such good care of their stuff. <laughs> so I'm always, so are my boys for that matter. Um, and my littles are learning. <laughs> so that, and then my son, not my favorite stuffy, but he loves it. So <laughs> that's what matters. We got, where is it? Let's see. Here it is. Drop the bag. He got off the dinosaur ride in Animal Kingdom. He got, he calls him Terry. Terry the pterodactyl here. And where did I just throw his receipt? Right here. He was only $24.99, um, $26.61 with tax. So he got this big pterodactyl. Whenever you come off the dinosaur ride, they have dinosaur, well, they have dinosaur land. And over in dinosaur land, you come off the dinosaur ride and there's a dinosaur gift shop with all the things. And my son is so into dinosaurs right now. He's, we've just let him watch Jurassic Park for the first time. He's 11 and he's just very excited about it. So, and he appeared in many of our um, photo pass photos. There would be a, a Terry head <laughs> sticking in front of them. So he is very loved. <laughs> People say Animal Kingdom is just a glorified zoo and we would very much disagree. Um, there's definitely some amazing animals there. You go on the Kilimanjaro Safari and I, Pretty, I think I pretty much extensively videoed that in my video um, at Animal Kingdom. Um, it, it, there are zoo animals that you can experience in an amazing way that no other zoo can compare with. It is amazing. But not just that, they have all of these fantastic rides. And my husband would agree with, agree with me when I say that our favorite ride we've ever been on in our entire life is at Animal Kingdom. And that is Avatar's Flight of Passage it is so awesome is this immersive experience it has smells you are flying it is it's fantastic go to animal kingdom don't skip animal kingdom <laughs> it's so much fun i'm saving some of the best for last um galaxy's edge star wars souvenirs are kind of fantastic <laughs> so i'll do those towards the end so don't miss that okay so this is a disney hardcore fan must have <laughs> And that is the Penny Press books. So pennies are one of the most affordable souvenirs that you can get at Disney World. And like I've said before, um, don't bring your quarters and pennies anymore. <laughs> bring your debit card or dollar bills um, because that's how the Penny Press machines just work now. Um, you used to have, back in the day, the little M&M tubes. You would stuff with your quarters and your pennies and put them in your backpack. No more. So <laughs> make sure you have your dollar bills. But this is the um, Penny Press book they are offering right now for the 50th anniversary. It's $14.99. And here are some of our pennies that we collected and maybe you saw us collecting them in our videos. <laughs> so there is that. And I think it's really pretty. This is our one from our past trip right here. And um, I really like the 50th anniversary one. So that is an affordable and really fun souvenir to do with your children. Then my little girl, <laughs> she just turned five. Maybe you saw her aerial birthday. 
Um, she loves Frozen. She is obsessed with Frozen. So <laughs> she got all the Frozen souvenirs. Here is her little, whenever you come off the Frozen ride in Epcot, there is a gift shop with all the Frozen souvenirs. And they have this Elsa light chaser. Guys, this is so overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the most loved probably souvenir that we picked up. She adored it. She was four at the time. It is $18.78 and with tax it was exactly $20. Um, the batteries lasted the whole trip and it was used the whole trip. <laughs> so and I know when my Hannah was about her age she got a Minnie Mouse one that she still has and she still loves. So it's worth it. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's expensive, but it's, it's just worth it. So there's that. And then Oga's Cantina. Oh my goodness. It's in my receipts here. I'm going to go over some prices with you at the end um, of, as far as food and some of the stuff we spent there. But if you get the Porg drink, um, they will actually not give you your actual Porg mug that you've used at the restaurant. They will go to the back and get a box with a brand new Porg mug in it that you get to take home. And this is our Porg mug. And my sons love the Porgs. So this is the Porg cup. And it was very expensive. <laughs> I'll go over the price at the end. Um, but yeah, it was very expensive. It was very yummy. And my little boys are very excited to have him. So Porg cup. That is a really fun one. We have all the things. <laughs> My table is filling up. Let's do this. Okay. So in here, this is one of mom's souvenirs. We, <laughs> we collect the Disney pens. We have a pen board in our playroom. And I always get one special one with a year on it for our trip. This was $14.99. It is the 2022 for our pen board. Um, super cute. Another affordable souvenir it spins we have one from our last trip too really fun way to remember your trips at disney almost World. forgot we got this 50th anniversary pen for our pin collection as well and i believe it was 14.99 so that lives on our pin board in our playroom this is our pin board in our playroom where we have collected all the pins throughout our trips over the years and my children have so much fun looking at them and remembering and it just brings them joy, a little bit of fun. Then my now seven-year-old little boy, <laughs> this was his stuffy. It's a teeny tiny one. It's a porgy. <laughs> That's what he calls it, porgy. It's a porg. And it is well-loved already, so it's a little dirty. <laughs> I actually tried to wipe him down for you. So there is his little pork. It is from Galaxy's Edge at one of the little shops. And this little pork, he actually is a shoulder pork. He has a magnet there, and there's a little piece. So you can make him sit on your shoulder. And um, he was $19.99, $21.29 tax. So see that $30 average? So some of them are more expensive, some of them are a little bit cheaper, but just kind of budget about $30 a kid for them to get a stuffy and um, they will be well loved. My favorite, my children's favorite stuffies. Okay, this I actually got at Disney Springs. This is mommy's souvenir and it is a Disney World 50th anniversary picture frame that I hope to put a really fun photo in and put it maybe in our playroom or something like that so our children can remember our trip fondly and it was $29.99 so fun <laughs> so that one and then this was another one of mommy's souvenirs because mommy likes all the Disney souvenirs <laughs> as well I actually need to use this I haven't even thought about it I've had it in a bag waiting to show you but it is a keychain another very affordable um souvenir where is the price i don't have a receipt in there i'm sure it's here but i think it, it was under ten dollars <laughs> whatever it was it might have been six but under ten dollars but why i loved this what does that remind you of it reminds you of my popcorn bucket that is in my packing video. So you'll have to watch that. But it looks just like our alien popcorn bucket, which I love. So I was like, it's so cute. I have to have it. So <laughs> there's that. And this was my 
five-year-old daughter, Frozen fans, Stuffy, she wanted an Anna. So she already had an Elsa and she wanted an Anna. And it was $26.99, $28.74 with tax. So that was her stuffy. So her things, she got her stuffy, she got her toy, and that was her souvenirs to take away. Again, if you don't, <laughs> if you're not a regular here, I have six children. So that's why we have so many souvenirs. <laughs> so we tried to do that. And this was my eldest boy's souvenir. He is 11, so he got that Terry Pterodactyl dinosaur stuffy. And then he wanted this so bad. It is a Monsters Inc. cup. I don't know where the receipt is, but I want to say it was $30. But it screams. I heard that a lot throughout my trip. So it opens up, it's a thermos, and he loves it. And um, it's good, um, but he just, he thought that, that was the coolest thing. So he got his dinosaur and he got his cup. And those were his souvenirs. Okay guys, now we're gonna talk about some of our most expensive souvenirs. <laughs> so, Star Wars Galaxy Edge, the lightsabers. I'm actually gonna get some kind of rack and hang these up in my little boy's room um, to be loved and cared for. <laughs> well, let's talk about them. They were $197.99, we got two. So that came to $421.72, both of my boys got one. Um, and the girls are jealous. I might have to get the girls one next time we go. But they were out, they, those are actually discounted to what they normally are because they were out of the brown kind of carrying case that you usually get. So we got a teeny tiny discount. I wish they had just had the case and we could have gotten the, um, the carrying case for them. You can go right there to the gift shop at Star Wars Galaxy Edge and buy the $50 slings to carry them in. And we did contemplate that, but in the end we decided not to. So for the moment they were giving us the complimentary plastic bags so and you will want to make sure you get these towards the end of the day or towards a time that um, it's not going to inconvenience you to carry them because they are breakable they're very breakable <laughs> so and they're heavy this is this is a real lightsaber <laughs> it's very heavy so I don't know how these work let's see if I can figure it out Ooh. <laughs> There you go. So I forget which sentence this is, but it is the purple one and they're beautiful and they're heavy. Again, for a $200 toy, it should be. So there you go. There's that one. And the experience of Savi's lightsaber shop, it's amazing. And that is in my video. I will um, link the Hollywood Studios video for that above here in case you want to go check it out but the experience is second to none you're paying for the experience as well okay and this is my other son's so and it was green like luke skywalker and again that's that you get to pick out the handle and the bits you want in the color and there you go <laughs> so now for our other really expensive Star Wars souvenirs and the astromech units, which is another just amazing experience. Okay, for this, we let the boys get one and the girls get one. So we had a boy team and a girl team going on. They usually only let one child and one parent go in per astromech unit. Um, at least right now, the different things they have going on that may change later in the year, but they do make exceptions and they did make exceptions for us. So we all got to go in, which is awesome. Same with the Sabi's lightsaber, one child, one adult. However, they made a few exceptions because there was, my, my littlest was with the nanny, you know, seven of us and five of them were children and can't leave some of the children behind and mom wanted to see and we're spending all this money. So <laughs> don't be afraid to ask so that somebody in your family doesn't miss out, but be respectful of their rules as well. Okay, so the droids, for the two droids, they are $99.99 each. So we paid $199.98. Um, there are some different chips you can get to go in them, personality chips, those are $14.99 each. So for our two droids with the personality chips, they came out to $244.91. So these are amazing toys. Let's see if I can open it up very nicely. This is the girl's droid, he's heavy. And they wanted to do a little BB-8 and they wanted purple. Um, 
He is amazing to watch. They have personalities. He rolls around, his head slides all around. They're super cool. So that is that it comes with his little remote control. I don't want to break. Have my children do this <laughs> at the end. But that is that one. This one was the boys. I don't know what this is. <laughs> My um, husband really wanted them to get one like R2-D2, but they both wanted these BB-8 styles. My boys got the black and red one. Maybe next time we go, we'll let my husband build the R2-D2. <laughs> that would be fun. We have a little robot collection going on here. Okay. Let me clear some of this away for you real quick. <laughs> Two more souvenirs I want to talk to you about before we go into the free souvenirs. I can't find the cup. <laughs> I found the lid. Children probably have it right now, but whenever you go to your hotel, you can get one of these big plastic mugs that's refillable. You can fill it up your entire trip at your hotel room. It is, I believe, $20. It's in my receipts. We'll talk about it in a minute. Um, that could be a really good souvenir buy for you um, if you're going to be drinking a lot and you're at your hotel. Okay, free souvenirs. Now this one will start out free, <laughs> not, not free at all, um, <laughs> but at Le Cellier, um, you can buy their 50th anniversary. Where you drop in these little fizzy heads, they're all different colors, you never know what color you're going to get, and you drop it in this like lemonade, and maybe it's, I think ours was blue, and you drop in a blue Mickey head and it becomes blue and it sparkles. It has sparkles in it and it tastes really good. So we got one, I think it was like $15, <laughs> but you get to keep the cup. So, but it's kind of, you're paying for the experience. It's a 50th anniversary special thing, so I don't know that they'll ever have it again. And it's really cool to drop in the character head that they give you and watch it disintegrate and the sparkles fill your cup and really fun. So there's that. Okay, now the very free things. All throughout Disney World at different places, they give away stickers. You always can get a sticker, they hand them out, and that's just a fun thing, especially for littles or maybe your children like to collect stickers in a sticker book. So there's all kinds. This is one my Frozen Lover picked up, and we actually have a lot of them somewhere. I don't know where they are, but we got a lot of stickers. And at Animal Kingdom, um, you can go over and uh, give to the um, animal conservation and it can be as low as a dollar and they'll give you a special animal pen my son actually really wanted that <laughs> and they gave us one of those um, another thing you can pick up um, while we were there I don't know if it's back yet hopefully it is by the time you watch this we used to get autographs in their little books that they had but because of everything going on in the world you're not allowed to collect their autographs right now but they do give you these free autograph cards here's some that we got we picked this one up at tusker house and all of the characters have signed it nikki and donald and then we picked these up at disney junior play and dine and all of the characters have signed that as well they gave each of my children one so that is a freebie you can pick up at a lot of the children kind of um, restaurants on that theme another thing you can pick up there's so much going on at disney world that your children sometimes miss out on the little things um so sometimes it's fun to take things home and revisit them later when things have calmed down and some of those things can be some of their menus their kids menus um the paper you can take them they're really fun they have all of the games and things to color and it's really fun because it's disney right it's at disney world <laughs> so this one has a create and cut out your own cupcake and my little girl wanted to bring that home so we brought that home so menus can be a freebie to get this one is from disney springs it's gideon's bakehouse i wanted this one because um i didn't really have time to look at their menu and i wanted to look at it later so Oh, that's a fun freebie and you can go through it and see what they have later. Another uh, fun freebies to do are their scavenger hunts. So this is the Finding Dory scavenger hunt. You can pick that one up completely for free. There's stickers in the middle. You don't have to actually do the sticker or the um, scavenger hunt while you're there. You can. There's little rhyming clues. Um, like this one says, when he finds his mate, it's forever, of course. Holding on with his tail, this friend's a seahorse. So you can actually do that later and fill it in and then you put the little sticker of a seahorse right there on a shadow. Or if you're there and you wanna participate in the scavenger hunt, you go over to the seahorses 
and you get to learn more about the seahorses. This is also part of, I would love to do a video about homeschooling through Disney World, but not even just homeschooling. There are so many educational opportunities in Disney World. So um, you can do this one at home, you can do it there, you can do it later, freebie, little fun thing, stickers, Dory stickers, completely free. Another completely free scavenger hunt is at Animal Kingdom. Again, such a fun place, more than a zoo. <laughs> and another way to educate your children in Disney World, um, all about animals. You go to and fro looking at different animals and different facts and there are clues. And at the end, if you complete it, you get a prize. Um, we did not complete it. We had too much going on. However, we did get the books to bring home and um, read and learn from it. And that's so much fun. So pick up your free little Animal Kingdom scavenger hunt book. Um, there's a little pledge at the front and about being good to animals. Fun. Um, and then another little freebie is just all of the booklets. My children love coming home and looking at the booklets. We were there during the Festival of Arts. This is all about every stand at the Festival of Arts. Um, refreshment art um, outpost and it talks about all of their food. It's all of their menus at the Festival of Arts which is so fun to go back home and see what's going on. They tend to be somewhat similar each year. They do have different things but I, I feel like there's some similarities. So another fun freebie is the maps. Don't forget the maps. <laughs> My children love coming home and opening up the maps and um, seeing where everything was and talking about where they got to go and, you know, completely free. They're at the entrance of every park and every park has them. And there's even, that's Epcot Hollywood. There's even some just Disney ones that have everything in them to just, you know, read about all of the things. Just a fun thing for your children to have something in their hand, feel like they got something and go home with it. Okay, and fun thing for the plane or car trip to read and play with as well. This is one of the more exciting things and I'm most excited about this. Again, homeschooling through Disney World. This is Epcot. Epcot is for children. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Epcot is for children. In fact, my 11 year old boy says it's his favorite park and he asked if we could spend more time there. Next time we spent two days in Epcot and apparently for my 11 year old, it just wasn't enough. <laughs> so you go around to each different world and it is so authentic. It feels like you're in Morocco. It feels like you're walking down the streets of Morocco or Japan or China. And there's so much there for your children to learn because they may never actually go to Morocco, but they can get the feeling for it. And the people who work in each pavilion are actually from that country. So it is such an authentic vibe. And we are going to use this in our homeschool next year as we study the world. <laughs> the Kid Caught Fun Stops at Epcot. So you get the little Ziploc, it's sponsored by Ziploc, suitcase. And then you go around to each world. And in each world, they give you a fact card about that place. Um, so this one's Italy, has some facts about Italy. It has a postcard to color, and then they have a sticker um, that comes with it that you can put on it whenever you complete it. So facts about it, stickers, postcard, and you put it in your little Ziploc suitcase. So you go around and you get one from every country, completely free to participate in, and so much fun. So again, you may not have time to go deep into the fact cards while you're in the middle of Epcot, but bring it home go through it with your children later. Such a fun way to remember your trip and the experience. Like I said, so many people say just different things. Like I said, Epcot's not for children or Animal Kingdom's just a glorified zoo. It's not true. <laughs> Epcot is fantastic. Epcot has the Ratatouille ride, which is amazing. And it has the Frozen ride, which is my little girl's favorite. Um, don't skip Epcot with your children. It, it's really good. Like I said, this time we usually only did Epcot one day and this time we did two days because we just couldn't get enough Epcot and my children loved it. And like I said, they're asking for more <laughs> next time. So, okay, I wanna go through some of these receipts with you to get very specific about prices and how much this costs. This may interest some people, it might not interest others, but I know for me, I'm really curious. I am a person who likes to plan and know what I'm getting into, and maybe this will help you plan. So I've tried to organize this a little, but no promises. Okay. Let's talk restaurants. 
Okay, this is Black Spire Outpost. This is Oga's Cantina. So at Oga's Cantina, there are two main things that you eat there. Um, the bat two bits and the charcuterie board. Um, the bat two bits were $11 and the charcuterie board were $21. It's very unique food, um, very interesting things to eat. Um, and then they have three non-alcoholic drinks, which is what we got for the children just to share so they could experience all these. So we got, and then they have the blue bantha, which is $13, the carbon freeze, which is $7.50, and that cliff dweller porgy mug, which was $35. And all of that came to $128.86. So <laughs> it was a quick snap type thing. Um, the blue bantha was very fizzy and awesome. Yeah. Um, really good they're all really good like there was not one that wasn't good um but prices if you just want to get the experience the experience oh my goodness at Oga's Cantina you can't skip it make sure you get your reservation six months in advance make sure um we had one hour allowed at our table and then you are booted out <laughs> so one hour but it's like being in a Star Wars cantina the music is playing from like a star wars thing it is so um you delve into that experience and the food and drinks are really unique so if you wanted to just go on the cheap you could do the bat two bits for eleven dollars and then maybe share a blue bantha i really like the blue bantha um you know for thirteen dollars and maybe then you know it's 25 bucks you pay to go sit down there so you don't have to buy everything like we did <laughs> but I really recommend that. So something else, Tiffin's, we went to Tiffin's and we got, um, we have a family of eight. Again, my little list was with the nanny, so seven people. We got a 50th anniversary dessert, that was $15. And then an adult entree was $65. Another adult entree was $65. Um, and then the children's uh, plates were from 10 to $14. So very expensive for an adult, not too bad for a child. Um, the 50th dessert was really unique and different. I encourage you to try those. Um, they have an amazing selection and our server that was there was just beautiful. So for Tiffin's for what was a family of seven at the moment, um, $272.66. So you divide that up among your family <laughs> and that's about what it was. And then, this is the creperie and Epcot. We decided to do something cheaper, <laughs> cheaper, um, at Epcot for a dinner. So we went to the La Creperie and they, the crepes were anywhere from $14 to $15.95. And we spent for seven people, $136.27. Now, if you have a party of six or more, like we do, there is an automatic 18% gratuity anywhere you go that is a sit down restaurant. So you'll wanna remember that. Le Cellier. Okay, this is with that awesome 50th anniversary cup we got. <laughs> um, the 50th anniversary mini, it was mini drink we got was $10. Um, a Coke that my husband must have got was $4.29. And then we have a child's plate that was $11. Um, the adults were 57 and 59, and then the other children were all $15. With the 18%, without, here, let's do it without. Without the 18% gratuity for seven people, it was $222.29. With the 18% gratuity, it was $276.75 for seven people. And so there's that. And then, that's Le Cellier as well. Um, let's see here. Mama Melrose in Hollywood Studios. Gotta love Mama Melrose. So for an adult, it was $55 for the chicken parm. And then we got a calamari appetizer that was $15. And a chicken, another chicken parm. What was that? Oh, there was several chicken parms. That's what happened. Okay. <laughs> so they were, the chicken parm is actually $26 each. And then there's a shrimp campanelli for $29. For seven people with 18% gratuity, it was $175.55. So if you're a family of four, just kind of divide that in two, and that's what you can expect for a sit-down restaurant. 
Um, and then this was at Kringla Bakery, which is awesome. It's next to the Frozen Ride. So it is in Switzerland in Epcot. A chocolate chip cookie was $5.29. An almond pretzel was $6.29. The schoolhouse bread, which is what you want if you go to Kringla Bakery. Bakery, You want the schoolhouse bread. It is awesome, it is good, it is shareable, it is big. Um, it is $8.98. So for everyone, for a quick breakfast we did that day, it was $25.93. So, and that was just a quick walk through, grab your food and go thing. And then Hollywood and Vine, which is where you want to go with the Littles because they have all of the characters. It was one of the most expensive places we ate and it was, what has this been in the past? Um, it used to be a all you care to eat buffet kind of situation where you went up and got what you want. Now it is a family style served to you, which can be good, but they didn't have as much of a selection. The service wasn't as good. Meh. You're paying for the characters. You're paying for the experience for your children. So Hollywood and Vine. Um, for an adult, it is $42. Remember, an adult is considered age 10 or above, and um, children are $27. It is a flat price, and with the 18% gratuity for seven people, it was $310.01. So divide that in half if you're a family of four, about $150. So that, um, this is... Oh, docking bay seven. So this is just a quick, easy thing. No tip required because it is just a fast service, um, like fast food kind of situation. We got the Ronto wraps, which are really good. You love the Ronto wraps. Um, one of the cheaper things you can buy. <laughs> They're $13.99 each. And then the children got um, pastas and lemonades and such. And all of those together, the um, five children were $39.96. And all together for a family of seven, that was $81.93 for a fast food situation. So about $40 for a family of four. Okay, Jungle Skipper Canteen, which is one of my favorite restaurants there. It is in Adventureland in Magic Kingdom, across from the Pirates of the Caribbean, and I must go every time. <laughs> so I love it. Um, for a family of seven there with gratuity, it was $180.53. Um, the adult dishes were $36 to $26. The children's dishes were $11 to $13. So it's not badly priced. Um, so that is a very large family. So for us, $180. Maybe for you, it is $90. <laughs> so that beaches and cream. Oh my goodness. So this is at a hotel. It is a must do. I will link it above you gotta go. So we had a very light lunch, but then we actually were going there for the kitchen sink. They serve you a big kitchen sink full of an ice cream sundae. And my family of eight licked that clean. <laughs> we all did really well. They all got all that they wanted and it was perfect for us. The kitchen sink is $35. Um, and then I said they got light sandwiches and such, turkey sandwiches. Um, I got a bowl of chili. The ball of Walt's chili was $9. And, um, Everyone together, family of eight, with the kitchen sink, $94.79. Um, even if you just go there for the kitchen sink, it is just really worth doing. Okay, this is one of the cheaper things. It is a fast food situation. It's Cosmic Rays Starlight Cafe. This is us trying to save money. <laughs> um, my children got chicken strips for $7.99, and um, somebody got I think it was me, the Waltz Chili Hot Dog. It was $13.99 and you can split that with people because it's massive. Um, it's like this big, you can cut it in half and it would be like two regular size hot dogs put together. So, and I think that's what I ended up doing. So the Waltz Chili Hot Dog, $13.99 and my husband got just a regular foot long hot dog without the chili and it was $11.99. So, and then somebody got a Diet Coke for $3.99. So for family of seven here, um, 57.45. So that's not, that's not horrible. Okay. This is Tusker house. Love Tusker house for breakfast. Go to Tusker house for breakfast right now. It's family style, not buffet. I miss the buffet because I like going up there and seeing all the ethnic African food and picking out what I want, but it was still really good. Um, family style. We, again, we went for breakfast, um, with the adult breakfast and, uh, the children, it all ended up being for seven people, uh, $310.01. So pricey, worth it. I definitely recommend that. Okay. 
and that is Tasker House as well. I have some kind of snacky food receipts. I believe these are over here. So this is at the Festival of Arts, um, the different foods they had going on. The shumai was 1075. Um, so that's what that is, shumai. <laughs> and Rosie's All American Cafe. This is somewhere like a fast food place. Um, we got two foot long hot dogs. They were $23.98 for two. Two sides of cheese sauce, apparently we got for $2. <laughs> and a side of fries. Um, all of that together was $25.98. That sounds like someone in my family having a snack. <laughs> so that, and this is Catalina Eddie's. And this looks like a quick snack as well. Somebody got a cheese pizza and a pepperoni pizza and an apple juice and that was $16.06. <clears throat> and a truffle macaroni dog at Fairfax Fair, which was me <laughs> for a lunch one day. Really good, Fairfax Fair. It's one of the places on Hollywood Studio on the main street going towards the Tower of Terror. It's something you would want to eat. So the truffle macaroni dog was $11.99 and then my daughter got the 50th anniversary a blondie cookie for $4.49. So that, that is definitely something I would recommend doing. Okay, and this is at Woody's Lunchbox. So for two root beer floats at Woody's Lunchbox was $11.98, that was for two. And then somebody got a Mystical Portal slushy, and that was $5.49. So Woody's Lunchbox is a nice place to stop by and get some cold treat. Um, just whenever you walk into Toy Story Land over to your right, there's Woody's Cafe. And I really recommend just getting your children to root beer float. It's very fun, very Toy Story. Um, so there's that. This is, ooh, this is fun. So at Black Spire Outpost in um, at Galaxy's Edge, they have these popcorns that you can pick from. There's two, a green one and kind of a red orange one. We got the reddish orange one. It was called the Outpost Mix and it was $6.49. It's like this really good popcorn. I can't explain it, but it's Star Wars. It's Star Wars popcorn. It's fun. It's an experience. Try that. <laughs> and this is at, it's a Walt's Chili Bowl. They have, they're really um, starring Walt's Chili. It is his chili recipe that he invented. And one of us got that chili bowl and it was $9.99. And then we have a popcorn bucket refill, which is $2.25. I think I've said that. And we got a lot of those. <laughs> and then around Epcot, um, eating the Festival of Art, somebody got the Beef Wellington, it was $17. We, we actually shared that in the video. You can see us all kind of sharing different things. So the Beef Wellington, we got two of them for $17. And we got two orders of scallops for $14. And then we got the Sipping Chocolate Flight, which was $8.50, and that was really fun for a cold, chilly day. Um, and then we're back at Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe chicken strips somebody got for $10.29 and a side of fries that was $10.96 with tax. So plays chicken strips and some fries, $10.96. And somebody got a frozen blue raspberry slush. This is at Liberty Square in Magic Kingdom and it was $4.99 and a turkey leg um, over, at, over at Liberty Square was $24.98. And my daughter really wanted that. <laughs> so, and then one of my daughters got a mermaid slush, which was beautiful. I love all the unique food and drinks they have on the go at Disney. They're fantastic. That was $5.99, very affordable, very fun, definitely worth it. And this is at the 100 Acre Woods store, um, which is at the Winnie the Pooh store over by the Winnie the Pooh ride. We got two refills of bubbles, which I don't know why my husband did this. I actually brought extra bubbles, but he didn't know that. <laughs> so he bought two bubble refills for the bubble wands that we took in our packing video and they were $1.88 each. So affordable. If you forgot to bring bubbles, that is more expensive than buying them at Dollar Tree, but $1.88 each. Okay. This is a stroller rental. Um, downtown or I want to say downtown Disney how old am I D Disney Springs they changed the name if you didn't know that and it's a hundred dollars to rent a stroller we had our stroller but Disney Springs was our very last day and we had packed up the car from the hotel and the stroller was so incredibly hard to get to so but you you pay a hundred dollars and you 
get your hundred dollars back whenever you return it and I think it's like a twenty dollar is what you actually paid something like that twenty dollars so so you pay a hundred to take the stroller but then you are reimbursed when you return the stroller so it is definitely worth it if you don't have or you cannot get to yeah it's actually okay this one says it. it's twenty nine dollars you don't get back so you put down a hundred and twenty nine dollars when you return your stroller they refund you a hundred dollars so and this is a locker rental at Hollywood Studios if you rented or if you bought droids like we did <laughs> and you don't want to carry them all around Hollywood Studios all day rent a locker it's at the front of the entrance they are twelve dollars each very worth it don't be afraid to get a locker even for some leftovers if it's something that we'll keep in a locker <laughs> you know cupcakes or something um get your locker it's worth this it. is our hotel port orleans um store and their little cafe they have so there was a couple times i think on our last day when we were at the hotel or this is actually the first day we bought that blue um, refillable mug that i said my children lost and it was 19.99 for the 50th anniversary blue mug and then we went to the little cafe to get something to eat for dinner and it was 7.29 for some chicken pasta and $18.99 for a large pepperoni pizza that we shared and one of my children wanted macaroni and cheese with the yogurt and apple slices and that was $6.79. So for my family of eight to get a large pizza and some various things, it was $56.51, which isn't bad for there. I think we're coming to an end. That is souvenirs. Are you souvenirs too? Yes. Okay, I wanted to share with you as well if you're still here, um, the droid personality, the astromech unit, um, that is what those look like for $14.99. You pick one out, um, it says astromech personality chip to put in your astromech unit, that is what that looks like. And then I also wanted to add, um, at the end of our trip driving home, we found the most awesome little shopping place down on the beaches of Florida, and it was Panama City and we went to these stores i still have the bags but the candy is gone <laughs> we went to i love sugar and i wanted to share with you what some of that was so i let each of my children go into i love sugar and pick out a bag of candy of their choice and one bag came to about 5.96 so that's something to kind of around there we'll say five dollars a bag for your child to just go fill it with whatever they want and then i enjoyed going to the tea and spice exchange because i'm always interested in those kind of things and they have freebies. <laughs> You're allowed to pick out two free recipe cards. I got, oh no, three, it was three re free recipe cards. I got the carne asada and the pumpkin spice tea cookies and some quick and easy dips. I'll have to try this just for fun. And then I picked out two different steak rubs. I got the Viking, what is it? Oh, the Vix like Vikings, I think it's supposed to be, garlic fix spice blend for like my husband's steaks. And then this one just looked unique. It's an espresso steak rub. Maybe I'll try that tonight because my husband is home and he wants steak for dinner. So, because we got all of that steak meat in the video above <laughs> in our last big grocery haul, which I have another one coming up soon whenever I do my monthly shop, which I have not done yet. But guys, if you have stuck around that long, God bless you. <laughs> I have been wanting to share this with you, so I thought I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make the long video. I'm going to tell you all the things and all of my thoughts about Disney World. When we were done with our Disney World trip, I was like, okay, I'm done. I, I got my Disney World fix. I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. Because you reach that point, you're like, I don't need to go to Disney World again. I'm good. <laughs> we had this trip. It's been a few months, and I'm already ready to go back. I'm, I, I've been talking to my husband about... Like if you're a Disney Plus subscriber, you get 25% off right now. Shh, I didn't tell you that because I haven't used it. So don't use up all the codes yet. Um, <laughs> but um, I was like, we need to go again. If I had all the money in the world, because that's what it takes, <laughs> um, I would go to Disney two or three times a year. I absolutely love it. It is just so much fun. It's an experience your children will remember forever. It is magical. Um, Anyways, I am rambling again. I love you. Thank you for being here. I enjoy you. I enjoy the comments below. You bless me. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this long. And I hope you found a Disney souvenir that you need to get on your next trip. Until next time, guys. Bye. Without love, and everything we search.
a mí 